Ranger Suarez, as you see right there, he's got 11 innings on the season, just over a four ERA. Going to see a lot of sinker changeup combinations to the righties and sinker slider combinations to the lefties. And he did jam them. Bryson Stott behind the second base bag makes the call and the catch. What a way. Reynolds hitting 250 on the year, a seven game hitting streak against the Phillies. Opposite way, Castellanos hovers and makes the catch. Two outs here in the first. And here is Hayes. So they walk Hayes, of course, obviously not intentionally, but that's eight walks drawn by Key Brian Hayes. Now, Edward Olivares is a guy maybe that you don't want to face right now. And two big home runs on Tuesday. Line drive to left field. Merrifield is there. And he makes the catch, and the inning is over. No runs, no hits. One man left. For Jared Jones, 11 and two thirds over his two starts. A couple home runs given up. But only two walks and 17 strikeouts in 11 and two thirds. 18 home runs for Schwarber against the Pirates, and he lines one into right field, a base hit. He was one for 12 in the series against the Cardinals, but he had a few pretty good swings the last couple of games. He's going to try to go strike one. You got to attack early. Get to center down. field, it's not that deep. It's going to drop for a base hit. Two pitches, two hits. We got something going. Yeah, Bryce Harper, the batter. Harper hitting 214. He has nine hits this year. And that's hit hard, but there's O'Neill Cruz. He's going to keep it himself. And he's going to get the double play thanks to good work by Connor Joe. Oh, that's a terrific play by O'Neill Cruz right there to his backhand. Takes him a little bit away from the bag and decides he wants to take it himself right here. Very nice play. And a line drive right at Triolo. Jared Jones gives up back-to-back -back leadoff hits, then a hard-hit double play in a line out. McCutcheon narrowly got home run number 300 back on Monday. Hit a ball tall off the wall. Strike three call, bottom of the zone. We're seeing fastball first strikeout for Ranger. Yeah, just a perfect pitch. Swing and a miss, back-to-back -back strikeouts. So he's got a strikeout with back-to-back four-seam fastballs, two outs here in the second. Pulls that one to first. Diving stop by Harper. Suarez there to cover. 3-1 on the put out. And a 1-2-3 second inning. Couple strikeouts and a fine defensive play by Bryce. Boehm swings and rifles one into right. There's a base hit. Phillies are making some hard contact here. Really? They had three balls in the first inning that were over 100 miles per hour, including Harper's, which was 110. Mm. Brandon Marsh bats now with a man aboard. Swing and a miss. And he strikes out. Brandon Marsh for his first strikeout tonight. Fly ball to left. Reynolds and Taylor. And let's hope those two have uh, gotten those communication issues taken care of. We'll go to the third in Philadelphia. One out, one on with Davis aboard at first base. There's a spinner out toward first. Harper decides not to go to second. Instead goes to first. Swing and a miss. Got him with a breaking ball. Three strikeouts for Ranger. No runs. One man left in scoring position. Rangers pitches are dancing tonight. And one out. And back to the top for Kyle Schwarber who had a first pitch single his first time up. And there's one of those three true outcomes. The strikeout. Number two for Jones. And two down here in the third inning. And the strikeout. Back-to-back -back Hayes for Jared Jones. He's got three of them. Through three, it's nothing, nothing. Olivares uh, smoked a line drive to left his first time. And he lines another one. This time it'll drop in front of Merrifield for the base hit. And it brings up Andrew McCutcheon, who's had some big games over the years against these Philadelphia Phillies. And a strike three called on the inside corner. Five Ks for Ranger as he gets Andrew for the second time. Swing and a foul tip. Michael A. Taylor's down on strikes. Three strikeouts of the inning for Ranger. One away. Here's JT Real Muto. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He went above the zone at 97. Real Muto rarely chases like that. That's two outs. They've gone uh, two straight games and now these first four innings without an extra base hit, which marks their longest streak of games without an extra base hit since June of 2022. Here comes Alec Bohm. Oh, baby. That ball's hit well out to center. Michael A. Taylor's back to the wall. He jumps. It's gone. Home run for Alec Boehm. The extra base streak is over, and the Phillies take a 1 0 lead. He had the last extra base hit. 19 singles later, he has the next extra base hit. Struck him out. 97. Painted it. After the strike, uh, after the home run, strikes out Marsh. Cruz, Triolo, Davis. One, two, swing and a miss. He got him. Number seven. Grounder softly. Here comes Bohm charging. Bare hands throws on the run in time. 
Seven pitch inning. How about hitting a home run and making dazzling plays? We go to the bottom of the fifth. One gone on one pitch. Brings up Bryson Stott. And another swing and a miss. And the whiff. Two outs. And Merrifield pops this one up. There's Reynolds. Six pitches for Jared Jones. Down a run onto the sixth. Well, Ranger Suarez was excellent tonight. Went six innings, struck out eight, gave up only two hits, and walked a couple. Giving up a lot of weak contact, getting a lot of chase. He had 8.02 counts. Get ahead, stay ahead. His stuff is there. He's got good stuff. It's just a matter of throwing strikes. Eight strikeouts for Jared Jones. And now here is Brandon Marsh, who he has struck out both times tonight, one swinging, one looking. Fly ball left center field oh, going back is Taylor into the alley toward the WB Mason side. It is off the top of the wall. I mean before JT even scored Rob Thompson had his hand up. Like hold on a second. I think Brandon thought he got it. They're going to review yeah. it. Well, look at it, the replay. It is awfully close. After review the call on the field is overturned. It is a home run. It took a little bit of time, but he could bask in it a little bit more. It's 3 nothing Phillies. You got to tip your cap to Jared Jones. Did everything he could to keep this game close. And man, again, miscommunication in the outfield. And Castiano slides in safely at second. He thought he was done, but he's in scoring position. I think that's going to be an error on Michael Taylor. Yeah, he's, he's calling it, and it's a center fielder's ball. If the center fielder calls, that's his ball. He's the captain of the outfield. And Hit. After reaching first base, saw that ball hit the ground, hustled into second. And Stott, the batter against Holderman, 0 for 2 tonight. Fly ball, right field, it's deep, it's going to go, it is gone! Two-run home run! The Phillies have become homer happy tonight. 5 nothing Phils. They've gotten the out, but then gives up the home run. So they've had 19 straight singles. Now they have three of their last four hits are home runs. <laughs> Go figure. And it looked like, you know, he went down and got that, but it was an easy swing. He's been over swinging off balance. That is the Bryson Stott of last year. Last chance for the Pirates as we go to the ninth inning, and the Phillies with a 5 0 lead. A chopper, maybe an infield bunt hit. It will be swinging bunt single for Olivares and his second hit. And he leads off the ninth with a base hit. Swinging a ground ball through that vacated right side, a base hit for Taylor. Nicely done. And another base runner on. Here's O'Neill Cruz. It could get interesting. First time the Pirates have had multiple base runners on tonight. Swing and a miss. He got him. And Jared Triolo, the last hope for Pittsburgh. And the Pirates get a base hit from Triolo, and this will score a run. Jared Triolo, an RBI single, brings home the Pirates' first run of the game. Two out action, and Henry Davis will be facing Nick Nelson. Popped wow. up. Toward the Pirates' Alec. dugout. Alec Baum on the run. He loves this place. What a grab by Alec Baum. And the Phillies take game one by a final score of five to one. Way to finish up a good night at the ballpark. That is awesome.